Sesame Streets, Don't Be Shy, a golden book by Anna H. Dixon, illustrated by Tom Cook, narration and voices by Mr. Geeky. Featuring Jim Henson's Sesame Street Muppets. Olivia asked her friends to stand on the steps of 123 Sesame Street so that she could take a picture of them. Just as she was going to snap the picture, she noticed that someone was missing, Mr. Snuffleupagus. Come and get in the picture, Snuffy, Olivia called to him. Don't be shy. Big Bird wanted to play double dutch jump rope with Betty Lou and Ernie, but he needed a partner. Then he saw Snuffy watching. I see you, Mr. Snuffleupagus, Big Bird called. Won't you help me turn the jump ropes? I can't, Bird, Snuffy answered. I don't know how. Come on, Snuffy, Big Bird said. We'll teach you. Don't be shy. Snuffy and Big Bird turned the ropes together and sang while Ernie and Betty Lou jumped. Betty Lou, Betty Lou, turn around. Ernie, Ernie, touch the ground. See, Snuffy, said Big Bird. You're just the right size to help me. Later, you can learn to jump rope too. When Grand Aunt Snuffleupagus came to visit, Snuffy was too shy to greet her. This is your Aunt Agnes, said Snuffy's mommy. You haven't seen her since you were a little ball of snuffle fur. Say hello to Aunt Agnes, dear. But Snuffy hid behind his mother. What's the matter, Snuffy? Asked Aunt Agnes. Has the cat got your snuffle? When he went to Hooper's store, Snuffy was too timid to ask David for what he wanted to buy. Ernie bought bubble soap and blew colorful bubbles into the air. Bert bought some stripy shoestrings and laced up his saddle shoes. See you later, they said, and they went home. Still, Snuffy hung back and did not ask David for anything. Finally, David asked, would you like something, Snuffy? Yes, David, Snuffy answered slowly. Um, what is it, Snuffy? asked David. May I please have a package of baseball cards? Sure, Snuffy, answered David. Why didn't you say so? I hope I get a wrong adorable card, drawled Snuffy. When Snuffy went to Grover's house for lunch, he snuffled down his yummy spaghetti in two minutes flat. It was so delicious that he wished he could have a second helping. Grover's mother noticed that Snuffy's plate was empty. Would you like some more spaghetti, Snuffy? She asked. And another glass of milk? Don't be shy. One day, the mayor came to Sesame Street. He came to give the prize for the best painting in the Sesame Street art fair. And the winner is Mr. Snuffleupagus, announced the mayor. Everybody clapped and cheered. Where's Snuffy? asked Betty Lou. He won the blue ribbon. But Snuffy had disappeared. He was too shy to stand up in front of everyone to accept his prize. At playgroup, the other kids showed their treasures in show and tell. But Snuffy was too shy to show the conch shell Aunt Agnes had brought him from Hawaii. When Miss Teague asked if anyone could read the word on the board, Snuffy didn't raise his snuffle, even though he knew what the word said. During music, everyone sang, Sunny days, clearing the clouds away. But Snuffy sang so softly that no one could hear his gravelly snuffle up against voice. Surprise! At his own surprise birthday party, Snuffy was too shy to come out and open his presents. Only when he had to blow out the candles on his birthday cake did Snuffy come out of the kitchen. Snuff out all the candles, Snuffy! said Betty Lou. Don't be shy. On the day of the Sesame Street weather play, everyone was getting ready for the performance. Ernie as rain and Bert as snow put on their costumes and practiced their lines. Cookie Monster as wind breezed around them, but Snuffy felt stage shy. Where is the sun? asked Prairie Dawn, the director. Where is Snuffy? Prairie Dawn found the snuffle sun hiding in the stage curtain. Snuffy, she said. Please come out. How can we have the play without you? How can we tell our weather story without you? The sun must come out. Don't be shy. Oh, dear, said Snuffy. So the play began, the snow fell, and the wind blew, and the rain splashed and splashed until, finally, Mr. Snuffleupagus took a deep breath and said in his deep snuffle voice, All right, Prairie, the show must go on. And so the sun came out. When the play was over, the audience clapped and cheered. The actors bowed proudly. Mr. Snuffleupagus smiled and waved his snuffle at the audience. Then Snuffy saw Prairie Dawn 
standing behind the curtain, out of sight. He lumbered over and pulled her out onto the stage. Come out and take a bow, Prairie, he said. Don't be shy. The end.